Yo. So today I'm gonna tell you about the TVP V2 concept, the tier 8 uh, medium tank, which it's one of the worst tier 8 medium tanks in the game. It's it's likely to be the worst tier 8 medium tank in the game. It was introduced as it is in the game and it was never touched. It was never improved, never nerfed. And by the time it was introduced, uh, tanks like the Object 416, which are, are very similar, uh, already existed, which makes it even even uh, even worse. So the TVP VTU, the immediate uh, this huge disadvantage, in my opinion, the biggest disadvantage it has, it's the fact it's a big paper with pl uh, plain clear armor on the sides and in the front. You can get penetrated by high explosive shells pretty much anywhere other than a gun shield. And this includes high explosive shells from uh, the wheeled vehicles that were introduced all the way down to tier 6, which it, it penetrates 75mm with high explosive, and that means it goes through the front of this tier 8 uh, medium tank. Now, you could make it. Uh, okay, it's a big and paper tank, so you, you in theory, you would uh, make up for it in other aspects. But Wargaming did no such thing, on the contrary, they made it even worse. If I compare it to the Object 416, which already existed in the game way, uh, 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 way before the TVP VTU, what you get is this. So the TVP VTU gets way worse damage per minute. Of course, the Object 416 has exceptionally good damage per minute. But you are introducing a tank that doesn't get the same amazing profile as the Object 416. It's small and it has some armor. It doesn't get penetrated to the, through the front uh, by high explosive shells. It's, it's a small target with decent armor levels. It's not it's terribly bad at least when going against lower tier tanks you are gonna bounce a few shots at least on the turret unlike on the tvp with you where everything you meet will auto pen you pretty much so tvp pvt you has this disadvantage when compared to the 416 of armor and profile and then when it comes when it comes to, to mobility it's supposed to be superior, but it's that's not the case because the terrain resistance, which is an hidden, uh, uh, hidden details that we're gaming uses to, uh, for some reason doesn't make them widely available. You need to use a, a site like this to check it. Uh, it gets worse terrain resistance compared to the 416. So the the power to weight ratio, these 19.21, they get are, are directly dependent on the terrain resistance. The, the better it is, the more mobile you are. The worse it is, the, the the more you are like glued to the terrain. And when you get this much difference in terrain resistance, I, I can't tell you exact values, but it can very well bring down this terrain resistance from 19 to uh, about 18 or 17 in comparison to the 416. So it's it doesn't have a superior mobility. It doesn't have uh, a bare profile, it doesn't have bare armor, and in every aspect of the gun it's worse. It's it, You get worse penetration with regular ammunition, only 188 against 201. And the gold shell, the premium shell only penetrates 235, so it's among the lowest penetrations with gold ammunition of tier 8 medium tanks because the average nowadays that they pick it's between 240 something and 260 uh, often it's 258 259 the object 416 penetrates 330 so it's a difference of almost 100 millimeters it's it's 95 millimeters of difference. This means that Object 416, when it comes up against anything with armor, it's gonna pan easily, reliably. While the TVP PVT concept simply won't. The TVP PVT concept will struggle to penetrate a ho ho uh, from long range, which is a same tier heavy tank. While the Object 416 will just will have no problem whatsoever. 
So you have way worse rate of fire, almost two seconds. You have worse aiming time. You have worse gun dispersion, gun dispersion accuracy. You have worse gun handling. Oh, but you have three degrees more of gun depression. Oh, that's right. Uh, I, uh, some, I, I hear people talking about sometimes about the object 416 when they are playing it and complaining it. Even some will claim uh, that the tank sucks. But th there's one thing all these, these guys have in common is that they are not very good at the game. And when you're not very good at the game and the tank itself doesn't play for you, in fact, object 416, uh, having such only three degrees of gun depression, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard to play. But if you know what you're doing, it's not going to be a problem whatsoever. You just get used to it, and and it's it, you make it work. You make you make it work uh, really well. You bring out the potential it has. Uh, if comparing it to the Object 416, it's it's a bit too much because it's it's it has such uh, incredible performance. I can just compare it to a Tier 7, you know, like the A44. So the A44, um, I'm actually going to do it differently. First, I'm going to look at the A44. And the A44, of course, it's a Russian medium. It, uh, it, it, it's similar to the TVP because it also gets a gun with a lot of alpha damage. It's, it's 300. But the profile, it's also much smaller. And it actually has armor, and it's because it's one tier, tier lower. This armor, it's actually going to work against tier six and tier seven tanks. This armor level, it's 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 actually going to work. You are actually going to bounce stuff, and you don't get easily penetrated by egg explosives. Yeah, actually, you, I don't think you get, other than the cupola, you don't get penetrated by egg explosives to, through the front. So you have armor, and you have profile. Immediately, that's the advantage over over the the TVP. Uh, VTU concept and then when it comes to damage per minute it's almost the same but you shoot faster uh, it's almost as, uh, the, dif the difference is the fact it only deals 300 not 320 so sure it takes longer to aim it has worse accuracy but even the Ganelli it's not much diff different it gets more top speed and when it comes to mobility once again it's not as clear as it as it as it, it looks because even though you have worse power to weight ratio, you get better terrain resistance. So it's it it's it's not as slower as it as it looks. Once again, only three degrees of gun depression, but anyway. Uh, another thing. Just, just to finalize about the TVP VTU concept is the fact that uh, the name of the tank is TVP VTU concept, right? And the turret, the top turret, it's the T40 turret. And why isn't it the TVP VTU concept turret? I mean, it's a TVP VTU concept, right? So the top turret should be this turret, which is actually superior to the other turret because you get better effective armor. And it's smaller. It's not as uh, long in the back, so it has a better profile and more and, and better armor. So why why isn't the stock turret, in fact, the top turret? It would make a lot more sense because as it is right now, this is basically a Skoda T40, which is a tier six medium. The Skoda T40, it's. It's, it's, it's like you're looking at the same tank. They are very similar. And the turret is the same. So, I don't know. I don't know why Wargaming does stuff like this. Uh, while uh, introducing a vehicle like this, uh, they pay no respect whatsoever to the, to the very blueprints they, they use to uh, create this vehicle. Uh, and to the people that... Uh, in real life worked for it they just introduce it and then uh, they they do a very botched job at it it's it's just bullshit <laughs>